Hi and welcome to another Honest Review and I'm going to start by disappointing some and reassuring others because if you are someone who just loves to watch blackhead extraction videos, this isn't one of those. What it is, is a review of one of the top selling blackhead vacuums on Amazon at the moment and there are a lot of them that all do a kind of similar job. And I'll be looking at whether they're effective and whether it's a good idea to use them in the first place. So I have two teenage sons, one age 16, one age 14. And like me, they've got oily skin and that is both a blessing and a curse. You know, and now age 47, I can tell you that oily skin um, that is sort of well moisturized, um, I would say uh, age is better. However, when I was their age, um, I used to sort of regularly, my nose would be covered in blackheads and, you know, it was a real problem for me. So what I started doing was just using a tissue every morning, I would squeeze my blackheads and my skin basically went from being problem skin to just having the occasional spot as a teenager every now and then, just because I kept on top of it and didn't let the pores build up to get to be the, those kind of deeper, nasty looking, big black um, pores all over your nose. So uh, my boys, however, I cannot persuade to regularly um, squeeze their blackheads. So they do have, you know, the old pore coming up. And um, for the oldest one, as a bit of a laugh, but um, kind of half seriously, I did buy a blackhead removal vacuum. And the one I went for was uh, one of the best sellers on Amazon. So it's this one by um, Fitfort. I bought it for £19.99. I'll include a link to it in the video description and want a very similar device on Amazon US as well. I live in the UK, but there's loads of models and I'm pretty sure they'll do a fairly similar job. But this one had um, 21, over 21,000 ratings, four out of five stars. So I was really confident that um, it was gonna do something. And you watch these videos of people using these vacuums and it's just basically like, it's like a magic wand over the nose where you've got all these pores and then somebody goes like that and they're all sucked up and gone. So we had high hopes. There's a little USB cable um, and I must say it arrived charged and it holds its charge very well. So um, the instructions say it should keep its charge for at least 180 minutes. We hardly ever have to charge it. Um, in fact, I've charged it once, but it hadn't even run out of power. I just did it just to make sure that we were getting kind of maximum suction. So um, there's a little on button and it basically has five settings that you press either up through the plus arrow or down through the minus and you can go right up from one to five. Now one is supposed, one and two are supposed to be according to the instructions for um, dry skin, three for normal, whatever normal skin is, and four and five for the kind of um, oily combination skin that's prone to breakouts. Ooh, that's just automatically turned itself off because I'm not using it, so that's handy. Um, so yeah, you switch it on and you can move it up through the settings. It has a number of different heads as well. So um, the one I have is the kind of narrower circular head for um, kind of, let's call them everyday blackheads, those kind of smaller pores. Um, the one that most people would use, I mean, they're detachable heads. You just pull them off, clip them in. So really easy. The one that most people will use regularly is this larger round head, which is for the sort of deeper pores and spots. Um, so that's the one that we've been using most regularly. And um, there is also a kind of, what do they describe this as? This one is a micro crystalline head. Um, this is supposed to be a kind of exfoliating head. Um, and there is a final one, which I have to say we've lost. Sorry about that. 
not very professional reviewing by me, although I did buy this myself. So just as the caps are easy to remove and slot back in again, they're also easy just to rinse after each use and make sure you get them clean every time. Um, they do include within the pack these little sort of cotton buds that you can put in the little plastic core here, the suction core. It doesn't seem to affect the suction, but if you had any big extractions that went right down, they would go into the pad and you could just take that out and replace it. I have to say that because we haven't had a huge amount of success with our extraction, we've never had anything hit the pad. <laughs> it just tends to be a little buildup of, of grease and um, you know some of what's been extracted from these smaller pores sort of gathers around the edges and you just rinse it off and that's that. Um, so the one with the oval head is supposed to be for wrinkles. Uh, I don't think I'd use a vac skin vacuum for wrinkles. I guess the idea is more about sort of massaging the skin and improving blood circulation and blah 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 but you know I haven't really put that to the test and I don't have any intention to. I bought this as a blackhead extraction device. What I would say is, first of all, if you use it at its five setting, it feels like you are going to practically suck your face off. So in trying to answer the million dollar question here, does this actually remove blackheads? Um, the answer to that is yes and no. So... I mean, in having used it regularly between myself and my boys, I would say that on my skin, where I have these sort of less developed pores, running this over on a lower setting um, seems to sort of pull up grease, oil from the skin, and maybe uh, unclog some of those kind of lighter, less deep pores. Um, using it on teenagers that have deeper set pores, they are not coming away whatever the level. And um, my oldest son, when he first tried it, we, we were looking at the reviews and a lot of the reviews on Amazon were saying, do not use this on the highest setting. So we were already warned and he used it on setting two and when that wasn't working, he moved his way up the settings to setting four. And this is a picture of his chin after using this on setting four. And he wasn't really hanging around for a long time. And all it says in the instructions is not to press it into your skin too deeply and also not to hang around any one area too long. So not more than a few seconds on any one area. So he was moving it around. Um, but basically settings four and five, um, no matter how you, you move them, they are going to leave marks on your face. You get these suction marks um, that makes it unusable on those levels. So you're left with using it on the lower level settings and that doesn't do a great job at extracting those deeper pores. So have a look at, here's me earlier, I just cleaned my face just showing you the difference between what a level two setting and what a level five setting looks and feels like on the skin. So this is me, clean skin. I'm gonna put that on setting two, my preferred setting, and just show you it. But I mean, don't worry, because it really doesn't draw up very much. So I am more just showing you this from the perspective of marking you know, going over my skin just now, just leaving a little bit of redness, but that's probably not gonna last. The chin, you gotta be careful with, cause I just went over my teenage boy's skin like that, across the chin, and both of them have got a line, and that's on setting too. So that shows you how careful you gotta be. So yeah, just gentle suction onto that's about as much as I can get away with. If I move it up onto, um, and the only thing in here, by the way, is just a little bit of oil. I mean, moving it up to five, I'm loath to even put that on my face because it is gonna mark it. So, I mean, why even create a set 
setting five. Like, just for a tiny second that I put it on my forehead there, mark already. That's like for a spot for a second. Leaves red marks. And that can make an absolute mess of any face, but particularly young, <laughs> um, soft teenage skin. Total no no. So, sort of weighing it all up then, are these things effective? What I think is, um, going back to my own teenage experience, the very, very best way to get rid of blackheads before they become deep and obvious is to take a clean tissue and squeeze them. Um, and that way you'll get rid of them without any problems, free of charge. But if you have uh, teenagers that are just not up for that, then I think that provided they use it when they first come out of the shower, so they're kind of opening the pores up anyway, and if they use it regularly, maybe a couple of times a week on a lower setting, I reckon it would help prevent the buildup of those larger, deeper pores. So, you know, I think that it can be incorporated as part of a skincare routine. And as far as teenage skin goes for um, kids with oily skin, like my ones, what I would say is just use a really simple, um, you know, fragrance-free uh, foaming cleanser. Um, I find the simple range pretty good. Then using, again, a fragrance-free light moisturizer afterwards. The other thing I would say about this is using it on actual spots is a no-no. It just makes an absolute mess of them. I mean, it what it will do is take out some of what's inside um, but it doesn't really do a sort of deep extraction. So you're just kind of left with an open weeping spot. Not worth it. I would stay clear of that. So that's my verdict on these blackhead removal vacuums. You know, I think they're probably much of a muchness. You can get them on Amazon for even less than 19 99 that I paid for this one. Um, but they can be helpful to a point but they're a little bit gimmicky as well when it comes to removing those deeper set pores. They're not that effective. This has been another honest review. I hope you found it helpful. There's lots more like this one on the channel covering everything from uh, beauty devices and treatments uh, to household products and lots more. So check them out if you've got the time. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. <laughs>